Okay, I am in my movie room and year and month and I'm going to show you where I keep things and how my shelving has developed um, where I did it with the found wood and I still have a little bit of wood left over from the skids I'll make two little shelves here later on when I get around to it but on these two shelves here I keep my Atari games for 2600 and my music Dolly Parton's on this side, Pearl Jam's on this side, and any other bands in between. Um, my NES is over here, my toys. I do want to get back into Star Wars, but I do need to get caught up with my Atari first, and TV shows I keep first, and always first, and movies, TV shows and movies. That's why I don't have signs like horror and comedy and Western and stuff like the video store did although I could put them up, but they won't be in the right order I got a little bit of horror here a little bit of horror in the middle and Here I can usually keep all the movies. I like TV shows movies TV shows movies movies. I don't know I keep on the bottom the movies I might throw out I keep on the bottom and Spring or summer. I'll try to get some backing whenever I can find a little extra cardboard and if it's big enough to fill up this uh, back space that's why I did it with most of these are cardboard and over here I keep old movies I keep Disney movies over here and my snacks where I do my unboxing my popcorn maker a little bit promos poster area is over here I don't know if I'll put any posters on this ceiling uh, Disney movies old movies over here Older movies here, some some doubles. Did not throw out all the doubles, but I, should, I threw out a few horror which I should have kept. Then it goes into my VHS. Um, I try to get a little bit more on the VHS for uh, ninja movies, karate movies, stuff like that. I don't find locally. Uh, do you need one more for Star Wars on this uh, set? I got a couple other sets and. Indiana Jones I see locally a lot, found one and two, three, I need number two, um, I need to get more Stephen King, and then here I keep my Universal Monsters, some of these I bought in lots, so some of them have doubles, um, otherwise I would be paying five, not ten bucks, but I will be paying uh, fifty, sixty bucks for one, and some of these I had to pay individually to get, so I don't know if I'll have all of them because they can get too expensive, so I'll back off from that. And Godzilla's over here, smaller box sets, comedy horror, comedy horror, uh, my vintage dolls and stuff, Disney to toys, and old western, old comedy, uh, Scooby Doo's over here, Franklin, Libby Kalu, what I have. I got some Scooby-Doo on VHS and some on DVD, so with both of those, I'm okay, and we have a little extra shelf here, I made it a little bit too long, so I'll have to push some of these down a little bit in order to fit it in, but for now, it's a lot of work to move these uh, shelves down, just a few inches, and older movies here, James Bond, Shirley Temple, uh, all the clamshell Shirley Temple. I'm gonna have to start watching some of them. And trying to get more I Love Lucy, got half of it. But I might have to buy a different set, so we'll see. Because that's a deluxe angel, uh, a Giver. Old horror here as well. On this uh, shelf, I'll put some backing on this one. And older movies, uh, Return of the Living Dead's over here. I'd like to have it on VHS. It's probably one of the most expensive ones. Uh, Friday the Nightmare Elm Street's over here. And some t oh, smaller box at TV shows. Uh, Alien. A bigger box at TV shows. Uh, yeah. James Bond's over here. Small uh, movies you know. People you know, not I don't collect Region 2, I don't collect Severance, I don't collect Synapse Syndrome, 
It's all the common movies you know. So, all region one based. Disney movies over here. Uh, just started collecting on Goosebumps. And I do want to build up my Simpsons more, but I haven't been seeing them that much. If I do see them, uh, donation stores price them up. Goodwill has been pricing up their big box TV shows all summer long, so that's why I haven't been picking up much. Instead of paying $4.99, they have it marked up to uh, $9.99, so. They've been doing that with uh, Supernatural all the time, but now they started doing it with other TV shows, so it's going to be a lot harder to get them. But all the shelves are complete. I just need to add some backing, and I got like five skids I've broken up, and I don't have any tools left. And my drill just like I have to recharge the battery every 30 minutes, so something wrong is with the battery, and. I don't want to spend money on a drill and a jigsaw just to add two more shelves. So this might be the uh, whole look for the room. And I just managed to get these two shelves made. I still got the uh, one working saw. So a little hand saw and lucky it still works. If I had the jigsaw, I could cut these all up here and be okay. But I have to. I do it piece by piece and a lot of these boards I had to buy because wood is very hard to find in my area so I do a trash find on my channel and I do a marker drawing to keep up my art I took art in college but I don't do painting anymore and I'm going to keep this cabinet for the toys and uh, other extra stuff that I do keep cassettes in the bottom and if I do make a little uh, sign it might say uh, general store or something like that so we'll see I'm trying to make this look more like a general store where or a record store where you could come in and you could just uh, buy your movies but if it looks like a rental store then it's okay I'm not really going for a rental store feel because I do have uh, VHS I do have music I do have old games I know Blockbuster did not carry music so I've always been doing music ever since high school so I wish I kept them but I thought I would be out of it but all these I have rebought since so this is a whole room and I give you at least uh, four videos a week so you go go through them whatever you want to watch some of them might be old so a lot easier to tell what I have now, otherwise I would probably just keep all these in boxes if I didn't have access to uh, wood. And I was lucky enough to uh, complete this room. And I'm not going to do nothing here unless if I find a kind of a glass display cabinet I could bring up here that's not too heavy. Because those can weigh at least 100 pounds, so that's why I wanted to get rid of these uh, bookcases that were here, they weight like 50 to 70 pounds and by the time you add your movies you're adding another 40-50 pounds so that's too heavy for an upstairs so I'm in the attic so I don't know if I'll put any posters on this ceiling but a little poster area space I do have I could make another shelf if I need to if I find more wood we'll see how things go in the next uh, year so Probably go thrifting in the uh, summer and in the winter I'll probably go on buy a little something rare that costs more money or I cannot get it before because it was too expensive so I do want to get caught up with my Atari games, NES games and then you start on my Super Nintendo. TV shows will probably be uh, one every year maybe two every year but not until the end of the year so throughout the year it would be like one thing every now and then because things are getting more expensive uh, otherwise I just go thrifting and pick up what they have and yeah, they had quite a lot on Disney lately and managed to fill up almost two shelves there so. never seen any Goosebumps Scooby Doo is really hard to find but basic common movies they do have quite a lot of uh, but I don't need it every random movie so everything is here going to be a little bit more selective as to what I get thanks for watching